Hello and welcome back to Serverless Hub for a new video series on how to build web APIs with Azure Functions. In this series, we will be learning how to provision function apps, Cosmos databases, Active Directory B2C tenant, and an API management. You will need to have an Azure subscription to practice the labs in this series. It's good to have prior experience with TypeScript, Node.js, and Visual Studio Code, but it's not mandatory. You will be able to follow on. Follow the URL in the description box below to get help setting up an Azure account. I have broken down this series into few videos in form of milestones. First, we will understand how Azure functions work. Then we will be creating our first Azure function on Azure portal. Then we will be setting up our local dev environment. Next, we will implement to do item scrud API, enabling create, delete, update and get to do items. Then we will extend our API to import to do items using Azure functions chaining. And then we will host and web app to call our API. And finally, we will be using Azure B2C tenants to implement authentication to our API. Let's kick off with understanding Azure functions. Azure functions are event driven and scalable. Azure functions are triggered by events published from Azure services. These events can be HTTP requests, DB record inserts, or file uploads. Azure functions SDK lets us access event parameters, execute business process, and bind the output into HTTP responses, DB records, or file uploads. We will look into this in details in a bit. Azure functions SDK is available in many programming languages. We can use C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, and Python to write our functions. Since SDK comes with cross-platform CLI tools, Azure functions can be developed on any OS, Windows, Mac, Linux, using your choice of IDE or code editor. Now let's see how functions are triggered and executed in more detail. Events from Azure services such as HTTP requests, file uploads, scheduled events, DB record update events will trigger Azure functions runtime. Each Azure function has a binding file which mentions what event triggers the function. This binding file also includes input bindings and output bindings. Once function is triggered, function will use the trigger parameters and any input from bindings and set the output according to the binding. You can refer to Azure functions documentation for more details about triggers, input and output bindings. I'll add the URL in the description box below.